What's up guys, in today's video I'm giving you guys the reason on to why I dropped out of film school. Now I know that the school year is coming up right now, so I just wanted to explain the pros and cons of going to film school, why I dropped out, why it wasn't for me and specifically. So in 2014, I graduated at the age of 18, usually like normal people, and then I decided already from maybe sophomore or junior year that I wanted to go to the Art Institute to go into digital filmmaking, which that's what I did three months exactly after graduation. And then once I got enrolled, I was super excited, which I did do some like pre-classes. I did some summer classes at the Art Institute, like a little, it wasn't really summer classes, it was more of like just like, it was almost like little seminars, and I did that for I think a week, and yeah, it was kind of cool. I enjoyed it. It was really fun. The first, I would say, half year of college after it started was really cool. I was learning kind of a lot, but it wasn't really necessarily about film. I was just learning like college stuff, basic stuff. One thing they try to sell you on is like, hey, we're going to be hands on right when we start. And it wasn't necessarily like that. I was doing English. I was doing like painting arts. And I understand that you have to do other arts with the art that you're going to be doing, which my art was cinematography. Well, not just cinematography, but uh, digital filmmaking. So cinematography, editing, all of that. It was cool. It was cool at first. The biggest thing I got out of it was post-production. If you guys do not know, I've been filmmaking since I've been probably in the seventh grade. And so I've always had a heart for filmmaking. I've always loved it. And going to college for filmmaking kind of really crushed my dreams just because it wasn't really expected. Everything wasn't what it looked like on the commercial, you know, like how McDonald's is, like the burgers look really nice. You go, the burgers don't look that nice and they don't taste that good. But but it was literally just like clickbait in a commercial in order for us to go to art school. And me and my brother actually went, me and my brother Chandler, which Chandler got me into filmmaking. And that's actually how I met Dune was in college. After about a year, I already had the decision like, okay, I just want to get this over with. Just two more years. We only had to go for three years because we went year round. But we were going to get our bachelor's. And I only needed one more year left after I finished the two year mark, of course. But during that second year, it was just a huge drag and I didn't like it. It wasn't cool whatsoever. And I was like... I was really procrastinating on homework, didn't show up to class, because it just wasn't motivating. I wasn't motivated to go, I wasn't learning anything, I was teaching some of the teacher stuff, and then it'd be like, whoa, how'd you do that, teach me how to do that? And it was so weird, it was so backwards, and I'm like, I'm not gonna go to school, pay for school, just get a piece of paper when I'm teaching the teachers some of the stuff that I know, and I know more than some of the teachers, and that doesn't really make sense to me. I didn't comprehend why the teachers weren't too educated on the stuff that they were teaching. It was almost like they got a plan, and then they just like taught us from a book, and it's like, if you don't have skills yourself, I don't want you teaching me something that I already know. So that was a big thing of why I was like, okay, let's just get this over with and then I'll be able to get a good job with my diploma, with my bachelor's degree. And it seemed good, it sounded like a good idea to just finish strong and then just get out of there. But if you guys have been sticking around for a while, you guys did see the vlog to where I was dropping out of college on the phone with my mom like, hey, I'm done, I don't wanna do this anymore. Then I called my dad, told him, and then it was just over with. Well, like me and Chandler are thinking, like, cause like, I don't want you to be mad or anything or disappointed, but like, we don't think we should go to school anymore. Because like... Hang on a second, let me make my drink. Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, go. Alright, did you hear me? You don't think we should go to school? You don't think we should go to school anymore? Yeah, because like... Alright, first off, it's a buttload of money, so that would be easier on you guys. Second of all, can you hear me? They're like, they want us to do like commercial work, so they want us to work for somebody. And like, I don't know, my YouTube channel is growing really fast, and like, I'm already to the point where I'm almost able to support myself just by YouTube. And it would just give us way more time to work on stuff we actually want to, like, can work on and grow for. That's totally your choice, Chase. I think it'd just be easier to just to like, stop going but now, before we get it too all that deep. Money and then you not pass anyway, and then yeah. And I felt so free after dropping out. And guys, believe it or not. Well, I guess you can believe it. You've already seen my experience from it. After I dropped out of college, I started doing freelance work with digital filmmaking. Me and Chandler started making intros for people. The fitness industry started getting jobs out in California, met Raymond, and our careers just kicked off right after we dropped out. And it was just like a thing to where I was like, and it was just one of those things to where we had to step out on faith and be like, we don't need school to have a good career. We don't need school to have a good paying job. We knew that we could do it on our own because we were already doing it on our own. In high school, I've made thousands of dollars 
dollars. Before I even went to college, I made thousands of dollars just on filmmaking, just on photography, on all this stuff. Just because I love doing it. It's so fun. It's I love being artistic. I love being creative. So I made thousands of dollars before I even went to college. And now I'm making thousands of more dollars after I dropped out. And then now I'm making more money than I've ever made before in my life. And that just goes to show that having faith in yourself and not having faith in school. Like I don't, I didn't put my faith in school. I had faith in God and I had faith in what I can do. And I already knew what I was capable of and school is really holding me back. So I was like, yo, I'm out of here. I don't want to do this anymore. Like our career just sped up. It's almost as if God sped up the time and was like, okay, it's time to take this thing serious now. It's time for you to grow now. And it was time for growth, literally. We grew tremendously. My YouTube channel grew. When I was still in college, I was probably sitting at 10,000 subscribers. Right now I'm getting close to 50,000 and that was a year ago, not even a year. Ago. So 30,000 subscribers just from that. I didn't even start Guns Locked yet and I'm already almost at 30,000 on there. And it's just crazy to see the growth after dropping out and that I can actually put time towards YouTube. I can put time towards filmmaking. Believe it or not, in film school, I wasn't putting time towards film. It's because I was like getting disgusted of it. I was like, why do I want to make films now? Because they were literally just making it so perverse for me to make a video. And I was like, I don't want to make videos no more if I want to, if I'm trying to meet their standards. We had to meet the teacher standard and their standard was so weird. And I wanted to have it to where I'm meeting my own standard of film. And I think that's what everyone should do is just meet your standard. And don't get me wrong, set your standard very high. Cause that's what I do. I set my standards so high. Now what are some pros of dropping out of college? My career popped off. What are some cons? I don't get my diploma. And what does that hold me back from? I don't know and I really don't want to know. One thing I can tell you guys, is if you are good at filmmaking, if you believe you have the proper tools, the proper knowledge and the proper wisdom to actually take on your career yourself I encourage any of you guys to not waste your money on college or go to a college if anything go to a trade school that is shorter like maybe a year or something like that don't go to a very expensive college if you already have the knowledge and tools to do the things that you want to do because you can literally make a living off of anything that you love to do but if you do not have the proper tools or the knowledge or understanding of how to make a film how to make videos, how to make movies, how to edit, how to shoot a video, how to properly make something look nice. It may be a good idea to go to school, but always remember this, everything, and when I mean everything, everything you need to know about filmmaking is pretty much on the internet, on YouTube. Just look at movies, emulate movies, and emulate it yourself, turn it into your own video, turn it into your own movie. Because believe it or not, everyone who makes videos is emulating someone else if they've seen someone else's work. They have a picture in their head, they're like, oh, that looks nice, so they try to emulate it. But understand this, when you're emulating someone, you kind of get your own groove to it. You kind of figure out how it looks with your camera, with your eyes. Because a lot of the time when we're filming something, when I'm filming something, I want to present the video as if I'm looking at it myself. So when I see things, I see things cinematically, and they look really crisp. They look nice. I'm like, oh, that looks nice. I want to figure out how I can make it look nice as possible. So going into film school can't teach me that. It doesn't teach me how to be an artist. No one can teach you how to be an artist. And that's the truth. But I'm not going to lie. Film school, there was great experiences. I met a lot of awesome people. I met Dunate. Uh, I met Diddy through Dunate. And then that's Dunate's brother. Um, me and Chandler had great experiences. We kind of did learn some things about audio. That's the biggest thing I did learn is audio. Like audio engineering and Pro Tools and all of that. So I have a basic understanding of audio. I have a great understanding of video because I've been doing it every single day for the past two years. And I love it. I love filmmaking. It's what I love to do. And I thank God every day for prospering my business, which my business is my camera. It's what I do with my camera. It's the things I do on my computer and it's just awesome. I'm super glad that I made the choice to not go to college or not finish college because I would have been wasting my time. I would have not been where I am right now and I definitely wouldn't have come this far in life already. But this video may be short, but I just wanted to explain to you guys pretty much the pros and cons of college, going to film school, and the reason why I dropped out and why it wasn't for me and why it could be for other people and why it's not for some people. Hopefully you got something good out of that. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are ready for more content coming on in the future, be excited with me because I'm super excited. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.